probably brings me to tears a little bit, but I remember that, that moment where I was in my bathroom and I was so upset, like so disheartened because I was 121 pounds. I was doing everything perfectly. And then I still had that. And it was that day, like just being like crying in my bathroom because I was like, oh, man, this sucks, right? Um, you know, comparing myself to everybody else's perfect, <laughs> perfect little bodies that I can never have, right? Just because of the loose skin and just because of the muscle um, that I needed repaired. And then I was like, I'm doing <laughs> After the surgery, I was really, really excited. Um, the night before it happened, like I stayed in the hotel and I had my mom taking it with me. And I just remember being in the bathroom and I was like, this is the last time I'm ever gonna see this skin. So I arrived for surgery. Um, I kind of had a little bit of nerves like coming in because I did fear like the anesthesia. Like, that's just something when you're going to put under, right? I think that I think everybody has that initial reaction. And then Dr. Lista and Dr. Ahmad came in and marked me all up. And I remember taking a picture over there of like the last skin, <laughs> last skin and all the markings. And it was smooth. Like they took me in and I was laying down and. I just remember, you know, count to 10 backwards, think of something beautiful, and I remember I'm like, okay, I'm vacationing on Hawaii, <laughs> Hawaii. And I was in and out, and I woke up, and it was actually really smooth for me. First thought was obviously I'm live, <laughs> right? That's always your first thought. Um, excited, I was just, I wasn't in pain, and the pain felt I wasn't in tremendous amounts of pain you just went through a big surgery, right? So there is a huge recovery time and it was a little bit more than I expected, right? Because I'm used to go, 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 right? And I'm a mama free, like I do things and I don't like to be slipped down. <laughs> so, be, you know, being in a wheelchair and taking extra time walking was even, was even a challenge, being super slow. And once the pain wore off, yeah, I would say that there was, there was pain and discomfort. I went back to the hotel, I rested, came back the following day for my follow-up. So I just remember Lori had said, you know, you don't need to be a hero. And I was like, okay, that's something that I just really appreciated because I was like, you know, you are hurting, you are in pain a little bit, right? So I'm like, yeah, you're right. So it was a very humbling experience because you do need people to take care of you. You do need to slow down, you do need to take your time. And it's just something that's, you gotta accept. A couple weeks where I was laying in bed actually with my, my binder on and I took it off and I saw the ab definition right down the middle and I took a picture of it actually. And I was like, oh my God, I've never saw that before. And it was just like clearly defined right away. Like all of the loose skin was gone, like the ab definition was there. Like I never ever experienced that before. Um, the first week was the hardest. I would still say I was in quite a bit of pain for a, a couple weeks. I know I came back and I was still not able to lay flat on my back and I remember the first time I was able to lay flat on my back of just like being laid flat because I was hunched over and pain, back pain was hard for me because it was you were kind of hunched over you weren't sleeping properly so I would say yeah a good couple weeks before I was like decent um, four weeks I was able to lay flat on my back and I was like oh that's amazing but I would say coming from someone that's battled obesity and dealt with you know looking in the mirror and seeing the saggy skin and the wrinkles and not being able to fix it I would say if that if you wake up and you are hating yourself that much and it's weighing on your mind that much and you can't come to that place of total acceptance and love of it and I mean like total acceptance and love of it where it's like yeah this is me and I embrace it fully and it's still weighing on your mind and it is the only thing that you can fixate on of you know what's wrong with you and I would say 100% that's something that you're gonna have to you know dig deep with and say do I need to get this fixed and you know will this make me happy if I get this fixed so I think it's a personal choice and I don't think that anybody can make that decision for anybody except for themselves